Hey. <laughs> oh, it's about time. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Wow, what a day today. But it's roasting in here. <laughs> it's so flipping hot in the van. My goodness. Internal temperature, 19 degrees. <laughs> and dry as heck, 34% humidity. It is 6.48 a.m. and the sunshine is already up. I wonder if anybody else around here is awake. Lauren's parked over there. Shane and Chris are parked over there. Well, good morning, sir. Good morning. Are you serious? There's uh, one milk in there. I couldn't remember between you and Chris who got the sugar, so you both cut no, no sugar. That's okay, I got sugar. Thanks, bro. Um, 12 green bag milk, double toasted, buttered with two jam on the side. Somebody watches my videos. Let's see if Lauren's awake. <laughs> that you leave the drum from, bro. It's all good. Chris like, what do you bring me? Hey, how come you never get up like that for me? Like, Dad, what's up? You never, always for somebody else, never Dad. So I took Crazy to the vet yesterday. Come here, bud. Come here. Come this way. Because he has a dark tooth right down here. <laughs> right in the bottom. Come here, Cruz. Let's show everybody. So right here in the front, he's got these little itty-bitty baby teeth right there. There's a dark one right in the middle. Anyway, a little story you guys didn't know. Um, our Sir Cruzy Bear got in a fight with two dogs. And they roughed him so they've healed up right now. You can still see some of them right there. But Cruz had three really big cuts down his shoulder, a bunch of them up on the top here, and some scratches and stuff down his belly. Two dogs were biting at him, pulling at him. He was on his back. He got beat up pretty darn bad. Hey, buddy. And I think a part of that fight, he smacked his front tooth in the bottom. So we went to the vet. The vet said that one tooth is chipped, and that dark color is the dentin that's underneath all the enamel and stuff that's naturally on the tooth. He just said, hey, I don't see it being alarming right now. Keep an eye on it. If it does happen to darken more, then he says, we're gonna have to extract both of them because they're both in the same socket. So that's why we went to the vet yesterday. And while we were there, we also got flea and tick medication. And he also got updated with all of his shots and also got another rabies shot. Do you have not had shot since you were a little puppy? No, you haven't. Now you're all up to date and ready to travel. <laughs> yeah, ready to travel. <laughs> and he took the shots like a champ. I was feeding him treats, and the vet just grabbed him back here. Bam! Right in there, and Cruzy didn't feel a darn thing. Like a champ, bro. The back behind the building here is where Chris the painter is all set up here in a Sprinter van. Look at them all set up. Barbecue out there, lawn chairs, awning. You're living the good life. And parked right behind him is, uh, is Shane back there. Little puppy wants to play, Cruz wants to mount him. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it, buddy? Crazy's wiped right out. Morning, sir. Morning. Holy cow. It's like you remember how to walk. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay. Take your shoes off, Chrome. Not bad, but I just can't quite, just about fully stand in here. Uh, I do that under the fan. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the suck cut 3000 <laughs> you keep a pretty clean house there buddy i think i think it's because you don't have a dog because yeah. if you did have a dog yeah. over <sighs> yeah this one would be nice because i for me i would do the same thing and then i'd have a desk yep and get it on those really good rails so you don't need like a stand yeah this one this one works pretty good but it's it's just too big I've got you, uh, Enough when you're sitting in that one. I that prop, one. I prop it up just to. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's good. It gives you two seating areas when I have guests, which I don't ever do. I don't ever have guests either. Nobody likes me either. No. Thanks for the coffee. It's not my coffee. It's my coffee. Now. I don't even know what's in it, so I'm not gonna take a sip of it. It's just cream and. 
Lauren can stand. I, I'm not quite there. Lauren can stand in a shoebox. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got it. How did you feel your bum? My eyes work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can stand in the roof end. Like, I'm... Oh, yeah, yeah. I touch. Yeah. But with, like, shoes off, I'm good. I, I rub. But I stand... So then I can say I do the same thing when I'm in mine, because if I do this, I can stand. I cannot stand like this. Straight up, right? But you but don't want to walk know. around your rig all day long like you're But I'm like not you're walking pooping. there because I'm sitting right there and I'm pooping right there. <laughs> you got, you got. What up, buddy? Hi, Kruzy. Watch him all of a sudden jump right in. Oh, shit. How come you can't do that in yours? Too high? Yeah, mine's too high, dude. Good boy. Hi, right, buddy. Where are we? Lauren, get the saw. We're going to cut this step out and we're going to weld it onto this. <laughs> Look, Dad. He was playing with his dog, though. She was quite done. And he's just sitting there. And as soon as I go there, I pat him. He's like, oh, yeah, okay, let's go inside. He wanted to go in. He goes there. I said, Dad is not in here. So he's like, oh. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna go measure the stairs here for putting railings on it. Yeah, I'll hold it on the bottom here. What do we have? 20 feet are right here. So yeah, code in here is putting one railing. I'm kind of thinking about maybe putting double railings up each side. I'm not sure, but technically we only have to put one railing up in here. Well, we found some really cool black metal ones. I think that'll look super slick. And we just measured the walls out in here because we're painting the gray band up to here. And my cabinets that are in the corners of my shop go to 74 inches, which is perfect. I was worried about that. And when I started measuring that, I'm like, uh oh, what if my cabinets are taller than that? Yeah, we're going, we're going nicely. You want to uh, listen to that whiny noise while we're here? This is how we do things. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Nice bowl, right? Yeah. I got those on Amazon. Really? Yeah. And you can come back for extra. Bro! Look at that, bro! Oh, yeah. Hey. You're pretty devoted to looking cute there, buddy, hoping you drop something. <laughs> Right, they go what away. are you circling? Us, they're waiting for us to die. You're not eating our rabbits, are you? Oh, that's oh what, yeah. that might be what they're looking for. Now you don't eat our rabbits. They're totally looking for the rabbits. I was going to say, in a video I filmed the other day, I said this guy doesn't do dishes, but he brings paper plates. Apparently he does. I know, but somebody has to wash the pot if you cook in it, right? You can't just put it away like that, so. I found a toy at the construction site next door. It's a magnet. Look at all this stuff. It's metal everywhere. There's a big chunk of metal there, some screws, some nails, some more screws. This thing is freaking awesome. That's nuts. That, my friends. It's a cool tool. Well, Lauren, I better stop sitting around. I'm gonna go look and he's painted the black in there, I heard. He did? That's what he's doing right now. Wow. He's got one or two walls left. All the black's just about done. Wow, maybe we should go check it <laughs> yeah, out. Maybe I should go check it out. Nothing all day. <laughs> Sitting around here, it's like enjoying life, right? <laughs> all right, let's see what's going down. Holy cow. One wall is already primed white. What's up, buddy? Bro, it looks slick, dude. Ah, uh, sink's already plumbed in. The drain's already in. Sink is installed. 
We got a toilet, we got a sink, we got a shower, and we ended up going with a black shower head in here. That way everything is all kind of matchy-matchy. Black here as well. All the hinges and hardware on the door, all black. The doors are painted a nice bright white. Look how big this hot water tank is. <laughs> it's seriously as tall as me. And when uh, Chris, the guy that owns the building here, dropped this big thing off, I'm like, <laughs> awesome. After all that time being stuck in the van with my store bag, it was nice to be a part of something over here. <sighs> Stress relief. Never a dull day around here, that's for sure. What the heck is he doing? Lauren's measuring out to make a skid plate for the bottom of the gas tanks that are getting made coming up here pretty soon. Just in case I hit a rock or anything like that. Let's go see what the star of the show is doing. I had a tap out from all that standing. My back's starting to be a little bit tight again. So Lauren took off to take a bunch of aluminum down to his buddy's place and they're welding me up extra fuel tanks for this van over the next few days. And sometime before I leave on my summer travels, those will be installed in my van, giving me double the backcountry adventure fun. So for normal everyday street driving, I'll use my regular fuel tank. But if I'm doing any big backcountry adventures, I'll fill up all my tanks. That way when I get way out there, we still have lots of extra fuel for tons of adventuring out there making the backcountry just twice as accessible. So normally we'd have to go out a fair amount and then have to turn around and go back to town to get fuel to come back out and play some more. So now hopefully this will cut back on the amount of trips we have to make back to town to get fuel. I am stoked on it. But I am tapping out for the day because I did enough walking around and standing without any crutch support. And I, my back feels like right now it's time to pause my day. So I'm gonna do exactly what Cruzy's doing. We're gonna rest and relax. I'm gonna curl up with him, watch a movie, but I'll see all of you guys on the next video. Now that my back's feeling a little bit better, we'll hopefully get back to regular schedule programming on this channel, no more missing videos. I've been skipping so many because we've literally just been lying in bed doing nothing. I mean, those days I should have just did live streams. We could have hung out and chatted, but I didn't. But anyway, guys, back to schedule programming uh, pretty soon, maybe. Hey, Cruzy, can I come join you? All right, you guys, keep your double Vs up, and I'll see you all in the next one.